Hey, g'day, Scott from Lawrence Hypnotherapy, and a quick video for you today. Um, for those of you who at the events, the one from just the other night, you were asking me about um, how to make CD sets. And so that's what this video is about. So you can see that there's the picture of my quit smoking CD sets. Um, disc one, which is called the six triggers. Um, and disc two, which is about the lock-in, which is to make sure they stay off the cigarettes. So how do you make your own CD set? So of course, I don't mind if you use mine or use my script or use parts of my script, but when you want to make your own, there's um, some advice that really just speeds this whole thing up. It's not the big massive challenge that, or the big overwhelming challenge that people think. Alrighty, let's take a look. Making a recording. There's three pillars that we've broken this down into. So you know how I talk about pillars or framework a lot, so this is my pillars to make a CD set, but the first one is confidence, then content, then construction. Confidence is about owning your topic, knowing what you're talking about. The content is how you um, basically write it, and the construction is the actual producing the physical disc CD set. So, let's keep going. Confidence. Credibility, passion, sound, audience. Um, so what I mean by these, I'll go through them one by one. So credibility, what topic am I an expert on? Am I really an expert in this topic? Why should people listen to me? And do you need to be famous to be credible? These are the kind of questions that go through people's head when they think about making a CD set, is that you don't need to be famous to be credible. You just need to know what you're talking about. And the chances are, maybe like you're one of those kinds of people who have done so much research, but sometimes you just still don't trust yourself because maybe you've had a family member or a friend challenge you and they've just been a big massive pain and they don't realize that you're actually an expert on your topic. So you're not getting sometimes that social um, significance from your friends and family, whoever it is, um, when you're an absolute um, gun at your topic. Or maybe you are getting that social significance but you're still beating yourself up because you're not, you're not taking the compliments that people are giving you. So how do you fix this? Credibility. There are three kinds of experts. This is something that I learned from Brendan Bouchard, um, who's my coach. Um, results experts, reporter expert, and role model expert. A result expert is someone who's already seen their own clients, they already have their own experience, they already have their own stories, and they're basically ready to go delivering their own pillars because they, they've just done it so many times. Like with me, I've seen over 3,000 smokers and gotten the vast majority of them, almost all of them off cigarettes. And so I've gotten to be that results expert there, like with that, with business and, and some areas. Um, the reporter expert is that you don't have to have your own results. The reporter is someone who reports on someone else's success. So if you've heard of that book called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, it's like the, um, the go-to book for business. It came out in like the 1930s and it sold more copies as a business book than any other book. The guy was broke when he put it out. He was a reporter. He interviewed um, people like... Um, Henry Ford, um, who else, the light bulb guy, yeah, that's right, Thomas Edison. He interviewed a whole bunch of people on their success because he's a reporter. So as a reporter expert, let's say that you study other people and you steal someone else's framework until you make it yours. So you have studied people who have achieved results. So you can either be a results expert or you can be a reporter expert. The model, sorry, the role model expert is about being likable. So if ever you've found that people just are kind of into you and your teaching style, they start to assume that you know things that you don't know as well. And so that also does help you with your confidence and credibility. So the three kinds of experts, when you get all three working together, of course that's best. But to begin with, you can even just start off as the reporter expert. So no, you don't need to be famous and you don't need to have seen your own clients before you build your first CD set. You can basically do what I did. I started off as a reporter expert and just reported on what I learned from other experts. Passion. What is my unique life story? What problems do I enjoy solving for others? And are you showing that you really care about your client's outcome? Now, the way to do this is you've got to pick a topic. Absolutely pick a topic. So where like my city says, like I've got one for weight loss, one for smoking, one for um, anxiety and relaxation. Uh, but they're all topic based, you know, like courses on, you know, how to attract up to 40 hypnotherapy clients per week, or how to hit six figures. Um, all of these things are topics. Hypnotherapy is not your topic. Hypnotherapy is your modality. Um, NLP and coaching are just modalities. They're, they're not topics. So pick a topic, which is pick a problem. Ask yourself, what would people type into Google if they were looking for you? 
Once you've done that, you can then start to really nail the what we call the mind read of what's going on for your clients. You can come up with your pillar, you've got your topic, you come up with your pillars, and you can talk them through the way that they see this. Does it make sense so far? So, finding your topic. Topics you know well, where is your experience? This is like what we call the letter to your past self, whether it was six months ago, one year ago, 10 years ago. Something happened to you and you overcame it, and that's how you pick this as a topic. Or topics you enjoy, what do you naturally gravitate towards? This is a brilliant thing for you to make a CD set on and to build your program around the CD set. Or what gives you the greatest level of energy? As in, what would you do for free? Don't do it for free, but what would you do for free? Because then you know that you're enjoying it. It's not just for the money. Confidence. Sound. How do you speak? How do you feel about your voice? Where does your voice come from? We're not talking about like, is it from my mum or my dad? We mean like what part of the body does it come from? Your throat or your stomach? Why does every musical instrument have a hollow section? And drink water, hydrate your vocal cords. The drink water is really, really important. So that um, If you want your voice to work, you've got to drink water. Your vocal cords are tiny uh, and they're the last part of your body that actually gets the water. So how do you feel about your voice? Most people think that out of the 7 billion people on the planet, that their voice is the worst one. So what I learned from a guy called Roger Love, who is the vocal coach to the stars, is that there are only five vocal problems. One is too nasal, as in, hi, this is what my voice sounds like. One is uh, too much air, so it sounds like, you know, Andy Warhol or Marilyn Monroe, with that real kind of airy voice. There's the too much brass. Um, there's, there's all these different ways of, of having an issue, but there's only five, there's only five voice problems. So look up Roger Love, and he will talk you through how to use your voice. Where does your voice come from? It shouldn't just be from the cheeks and the, the throat. It should be from your stomach. And so what I mean by that is that when you breathe, your stomach needs to inflate and um, deflate as you speak. Why does every musical instrument have a hollow section? Because that's where the sound reverberates from. So you've got between your cheeks a hollow section where the, your voice reverberates and so on think of like an acoustic guitar versus an electric guitar if you don't plug the electric guitar in it doesn't make much noise but an acoustic guitar is a lot louder why is it so much louder because it has a hollow section so the hollow section between your cheeks is what makes your voice loud does that make sense good you've got this you can do this let's move on confidence sound finding your voice drop your jaw when you speak let the sound come out of your mouth. So that nasal voice that we were talking about is not just to do with the nose, it's that when people's cheeks are too far apart because they're smiling when they speak, it does create that, it creates that, um, that nasal sounding voice because then the voice just goes up their nose. If you drop your jaw when you speak, your cheeks come closer together and that gives the voice a chance to bounce off your cheeks before it comes out of your mouth. It helps with sounding clear and loud. Breathe from your stomach. Your stomach should inflate like a balloon and then deflate as well. And speak up. You're speaking too quietly to your microphone. Fill the room with your voice. So don't think that you're just talking to the microphone. You're talking to the person on the other end of the speaker. They may be just as far away from the speaker as what you are to the microphone. So speak um, to twice as far away as what the microphone actually is. Cool, let's keep going. Confidence, audience. Are you writing a generic CD to help everyone? If you try to be everything to everybody, then you'll end up being nothing to, to no one. That sounds probably a little bit ambiguous. What we mean basically is pick a topic, pick a topic, pick a niche. Don't write a CD to everyone. Write one CD set to solve one particular problem. This is how I found that I've been able to make unlimited amounts of programs um, in my clinic. I started with just a quit smoking CD set, then I made a weight loss CD set, and then I made my relaxation CD set for anxiety. The Any generic program that I have, I give a relaxation CD set. So I do have the ability to, to do like a generic program and just name it later. But my smoking and weight loss CDs are for specific problems. So I, I urge you to pick one specific niche first, and then later maybe CD number two, sorry, disc set number two should be a generic one 
just so you've got that backup in case someone comes for something you haven't done before. Excellent. Next, narrow it down to less people. Less is more. Are you helping smokers or weight loss clients? Pick one problem and stick to it. Drill down as much into as much detail as you can. Visit Google Keywords tool to discover more about your target audience. Again, this will come up more in the, um, the six-week course and I recommend that you do it. Content, research, structure, writing, editing. So just one at a time, research. How many books per year do you read on your topic? Now this is funny because um, people ask me, hey Scott, how do you know so much stuff? Oh, where did you learn all this from? How did you know it? Like who taught you? Da da da, all these questions. And I know that um, I was guilty of asking these questions in the first place as well. Like even my current coach, I'm asking, how do you know so much at such a young age? Like you're not even 25 yet and you know everything and you're running a multi-million dollar business um, all around the planet. <laughs> So, um, the, the answer to that question, how many books per year do you read on your topic? You need to get information from more than one source. You need to get information all the time. I like to read at least two books a month. Um, I pride myself on reading um, as much as what I can, more than what other people are reading. I love to read. I'm a massive consumer of information. I've done over 100 online courses. Um, I've paid like five grand for most of them. It's, it's crazy just like how um, people who know a lot, they've never studied at just one place. They've studied at multiple places. That's why, like when I say the next question, are you attending ongoing professional development evenings? This is the kind of stuff that also is going to help you with your CD set content. So guys, broaden, broaden your sources of information. Do more courses. Do more ongoing studying. Like if someone says, I can't study a second thing because I'm already locked into the first thing, that's irrelevant. I don't care. Um, study more things. Study and read and watch webinars. Become like obsessed. Have that work-life balance. But become obsessed with your topic. Absolutely. Have fun with it. Research. The best research is a combination of experience that you will receive from your clients, practice clients, and the study of articles, books, videos, and incredible web pages, etc. So this is like a combination between you being a results expert and a reporter expert. So the key is to diversify your sources. Structure. Write your structure before doing anything. If you don't, then you won't have continuity or flow. Use pre-talk, induction, guided imagery, deep enough therapy, prem, wake up as a start. Then each section can be about 430 words. This is how I did it, guys. I only did about the 400 words a day, so maybe it was the 100, sorry, 430 words per day that I wrote, but I guarantee I did not sit down and write 3,000 words in, in a sitting. That to me, that would still uh, terrify me. I'm not going to do that. So I broke it into a structure first. So if you, um, again, like my events, like when I talk about the TRANS acronym, so what does TRANS stand for? So the talk or the pre-talk, the relaxation, the atmosphere, the narcosis, the change, and the exit. So if you're using the pre-talk induction guided imagery, deep in a therapy, prem and wake up, then you've already got a structure for your CD sets. So do your structure first and then write under each section how many words you want to write, even like put in a little um, comment about what you would like to say in that spot and then do the actual content another day, just 430 words per day. You can do this. This is easier than you think. Structure. 1,200 words is approximately 10 minutes of talk, especially at the pace that you've heard me speak on my CD sets. So one CD is around 3,000 words. So if you're wondering, how do you fill 10 minutes of talk, 1,200 words? It's an approximation. Writing. It's easier to fix a bad piece of writing than it is to write from scratch. What do we mean by this is that you should not be judging the quality of your writing when you're writing. That's what editing is. Um, if you're going to pan for gold, to get some gold in the pan, you also need to get some dirt, some muddy water in the pan as well, if that makes sense. So write no more than 430 words per day. And don't worry about the quality. Just do your best. Edit it later. Because it is easier to fix a bad piece of writing than it is to write from scratch. If I show you an ad that I've written and say, can you help me fix it? You can point out what's wrong with it and we can fix it. Whereas if I show you an empty piece of paper, you can't help me with that because there's nothing on it. There's nothing to fix. Writing. Not everything you write will be brilliant. 
don't be afraid to start making some mistakes. So sometimes it's better to get anything on paper for momentum. Even if it's bad, you can come back and fix it later. So the same point, just write 430 words a day. Do this. I promise it'll be fine. You'll edit it later. Editing. So with the editing, this is so important. Read it out loud first. Why read it out loud first? Because if you're just reading it, then you're not hearing it in the same modality that, that the person's going to hear it. You're going to read it out loud anyway when you record it. So you may as well read it out loud to hear how you're going to read it later when you record it. This will point out mistakes when you read it out loud. When you just read it silently to yourself, you're much more likely to skim over it instead of reading it word for word, um, inflection for inflection. So then get help. Don't do all of your own error checking. You will miss things. Fresh eyes are gold. Editing. How does your script flow? Is it easy for you to read out loud? Even if your writing makes sense as a written piece, does it still make logical sense when you read it out loud verbally? When people write and when people speak, they actually do use different forms of writing. Um, in conversation, there's a lot more um, reliance on tone, pausing, how long it takes you to say something. And like in that um, Austin Powers, like when they said, you put the emphasis on the wrong syllable instead of the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Um, when you read things, it comes out differently. Read it out loud. Construction. Cost, recording, graphics, and music. Cost. Depends on if you do it yourself or outsource it. Mass production CDs can be $1,500 for 500 CD sets. I still do mine myself because I just find it so easy and so cost effective. Cost to make them by yourself. CD cases can be 50 cents each. I'm now buying them on eBay. Just check the dimensions before you get it because there's slim covers, there's single cases, there's double cases. Make sure you get the right one. Blank CDs can be $10 for 50 from Aldi. Um, now I think I'm buying them for, it could be like $20 for 50, but it's still so good. Um, just from a news agency, just because that's what I like to do. Glossy paper can be a dollar per sheet. So I print my own cover and put it in the um, CD jacket. Uh, printer, ink, and computers costs can vary. So um, I just print them on an inkjet, uh, on a Canon I think it is. These printers are often worth like 50 bucks. Um, next, recording. Our first version was recorded on an iPhone. Now we get them done professionally for $200, sorry, $250 per, per track. Um, visit Petra Studios for more information. I don't know if he's still around, I just haven't talked to him for a bit because I haven't done CD, new CD sets for a little while and I'm basically still recording my, um, my stuff on my computer or iPhone now. Um, recording. Audacity is a free software for PCs and Macs for recording and editing your computer, um, into your computer. Use Audacity, it's brilliant. Hit record, speak your script. Do it as many times as it takes, have some water and don't beat yourself up. So Microsoft Windows Media Player or Mac software will burn CDs for you. So most laptops, if you've got a CD drive on it, it'll burn your CD. Graphics, outsource, e sorry, Elance does graphic design. Also, many places that reproduce CDs will also design your CDs. To do it yourself, you can buy royalty-free stock images from iStock and Dreamtime, or just Google it, see who comes up. Graphics, to do it yourself, I suggest keeping the design simple. Less is definitely more. Choose one relevant picture or relaxing picture, add your heading, logo, and details. Be careful with using too many colors and font types. Make sure your text is easy to read. Add a, a blurb, oops, okay, this is meant to say blurb. Add a blurb onto the back and name down the spine of the CD set. You can advertise other products on the back under your blurb. So what this means is if you've got other CD sets, other programs, um, even though I haven't done this, because I do it in a different way, one idea that people tend to like is advertise your other programs on the back of your CD set so that people, when they take the CD set home, and that's an asset that they're using, listening to all the time, they can see that you do other things as well. Music. Choose slow, relaxing, calm music. It should not detract from your voice. 
favor simple major chords, like what we call happy chords. Avoid using any minor chords or horror sounding music. No loud or fast drums. No drums. Music, if music is not your thing, we recommend outsourcing or buying royalty free music online. Ask friends or family members to listen to the music and to give you their opinion. The mini sessions at home. So that, that covers it. That's basically um, just a nice quick video. Like we've already gone 20 minutes, a um, bit longer than what I was hoping to do. But let us know um, if you've got more questions. Um, we're always looking to run more relevant seminars than more seminars. So again, get into the six week program online because that is just brilliant. It's gonna boost your business so much and it's ridiculously cheap, like $37 for six to seven weeks of training online. It gets you straight into what you need to know. Thanks for watching and I hope this has helped you to make your own CD sets.